I'm Michael Fairman. I'm on the set of Fumbling Through the Pieces with Kelsey Robinson. Yay! Who plays Jesse Shaw on Thank the show. You. Hi. Hi. So you've been in the middle of taping yes. several days now. Yes. And how has it been going this season as opposed to last season? Do you think it's quicker pace shooting you guys have a groove we have is a it stumbling bit of a around like fumbling around we're or? not we're kind of fumbling through the scenes <laughs> a bit no we're we're good yeah it's great i mean it's been really great and um it's nice because well a we have a little bit warmer weather this time around and b yeah we do kind of have our rhythm we have new guest stars though so that's fun are you in awe of some of your guest stars like i'm in awe that michelle lee was here yes Totally. Are you a Michelle Lee geeky fan? Like, I'm a Michelle Lee geek fan. I wouldn't say I'm a geeky fan, but I definitely was in awe, yes. And she's a legend, so it was wonderful to work with her. She mm -hmm. was, she, yeah, she had a lot of amazing stories. Did she give any tips? Did she direct everybody? <laughs> she had some really fun terms. I'm trying to think of them now. Um, I can't, I don't know, I can't think of them right now, but she has these fun expressions and terms, and I don't know, you would think it was just like film terminology, but it's more like Michelle Lee terminology. <laughs> I liked it. The Michelle Isms. Yes, yes exactly. Yes. yes. So the backstory of Jesse. Mm -hmm. so, so she booted out of Ohio and she, exactly. went to her sister's house. She took off out of Ohio, was not happy in her marriage, and she left and went to Los Angeles to live with her sister Ellie. And is kind of making a fresh start and um, and fumbling through the pieces of her life and trying to figure out what comes next and what she's good at and what she enjoys doing and who her friends might be and a lot of stuff. So when season... Two. Yes. What can we look forward to? What kind of trouble does she get into? What can you tease for us? They, why should we watch Jessie? Why should you watch Jessie? Well, she's the fresh face. Of, no, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> she's the fresh face the fresh of the fumblers. Face, uh, I'm going to get shot for that comment now. Um, I would say she, she's just, she's figuring it out as she goes along. She does get into a little trouble. She might have a new love interest. She might be moving on from this divorce that she's in the process of going through and and talking to a boy or two or three spoiler alert it's just one i i don't know what i'm supposed to say anyway yes but and, you uh, did but offset she told me he was pretty cute uh, one of the <laughs> two three four five i feel like every time i do an interview i end up calling out some guy as hot and this is going to get me in trouble but yes he's very cute so you spend your time basically calling guys basically, hot. basically i'm telling i would me. like to date him next so no um, yes, he's he's adorable, actually, and I think he's on set with us today. Um, and so Jesse gets hooked up this season. So no, she gets some love, and she gets maybe, some love. Maybe, maybe. <laughs> um, but yeah, no more deadbeat husband in Ohio. We are moving up, moving Jesse Shaw right up. So as you've seen, I'm very dear friends with Hillary B. Smith. Yes. And we go way back, and I just love the fact that you're getting to play sisters yes. and things. So does she show you sisterly love? Like, how is it working with her? Oh, totally, yes. She's wonderful. And it's nice. I mean, even just the first day, because my first day was Monday. Her, her, her first day was Tuesday, and I got to see her. And it is. It feels like a little reunion, a little family reunion. Mm -hmm. She's great. Mm -hmm. And when you got the script of this show, mm -hmm. why did you... You told me a little bit about your journey to yeah. the show. But why did you decide that you still wanted to continue doing it? What about it was like, I love this. I want to do this part. To be honest, it's the group of people involved and the way we've just really have become such a family. I really do consider this team of writers, this these creators, this cast, this, I mean, we have a relatively new crew this year, but still, like, everyone really does feel like family. And it just feels very much like you're being welcomed back into this this awesome group of people that I just love to work with. So when you go to the web and you watch yourself in a webisode, mm -hmm. Are you cool with that? Can you watch yourself? Like, so some people, like I have trouble sometimes watching myself. You know, but sometimes I can get over it. You get over it. But yeah. Are, but how are you when you go? What you watch your work? You sit there and watch it in its final. Well, I, it's funny. I'm the opposite. I've just saw an, an interview with an actress who I love, Charlize Theron, recently. Oh, and, she's okay. Uh, <laughs> And she was saying that for her, the hardest roles for her to watch herself on are the ones where she's most similar to herself in real life. It's the ones where she plays an extreme character that she can just watch herself. I'm the opposite. If I feel like it's very much me, then I'm like, oh, I can watch this. It's like watching a home movie. Mm. But if I feel like it's not me at all, I sit there and I watch it and I get very uncomfortable. So with Jessie, she's actually not that much like me. We definitely have things in common, but she's 
she's um, going through a divorce and she's very fresh to LA and very new to LA and very naive about a lot of things. She doesn't really drink. <laughs> she doesn't drink. We are so different. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but so, I see an addiction in Jesse's yeah, future. Totally. Um, but no, so there's just a lot of things we don't have in common. And so when I w watch her, I'm like, oh, my God. Mm. But mm. but no, it's really fun. And I and I love to watch Fumbling Through the Pieces. Sometimes I'll just watch it for the theme so song. Because it's so funny. It's and so for funny. the theme song. Theme song. <laughs> <laughs> so you kind of know what happens. Obviously, you know what happens in the when you get to the cliffhanger at the end of the season. Yes. Will Jesse have a big part in this big moment? Will there be big moments? The, this next season two, season two cliffhanger, or the one where we left you off? Season two cliffhanger. What she's gonna, what we're all gonna see when the new season. Yes, there's. Is, is there there, Jesse is definitely involved. There's there's another group of there's another person from season one, who you might not suspect of having a cliffhanger, but that person has a cliffhanger, and it's juicy. Mine is also relatively juicy. So yes, I am involved in that cliffhanger. It's always good to be in a juicy cliffhanger at the end of a show. Are That's cliffhangers great. juicy? But, absolutely. They can be. Absolutely. Tasty and juicy cliffhangers, yes. 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 And your final thought about your takeaway from this experience of working on the show. It's just been so, it's been really fulfilling and I've learned so much. I mean, if, if you are a young actress who has mainly done student films, short films, and web work, web series, to clarify. Um, and then all of a sudden, you get to be on set every day for two weeks for like long days with some TV and film legends. I mean. Some icons. These, this, <laughs> this is pretty amazing. Yeah. And, and I get coffee and snacks. And, and I, love. And I so. can verify that I've had more snacks and snacks and snacks today. Yeah. That, yeah. I, we feed I, people. We feed, they feed people here. All right. Thank you so much. I know you got to get back to work. Of course. Yes. Thank All right, you. We look forward to season two. Yay. All right. Please watch. <laughs>